Hi, everybody. This is our last meditation of 2020. So today is December 30th of 2020, and this year has gone very quickly. And I want to talk about a few things because this is our last session of 2020. You know, I had a private session with someone yesterday, and what she was talking about, and the reason I want to bring it up now is because we're coming into the new year. And in the new year is typically New Year's resolutions and changes that people want to make. So I want to talk about this situation that came up with, with someone uh, in a private session. And she was talking about a situation, well, it was with her boyfriend. But you could extrapolate it to your family relationships or a work situation or relationships with your kids or your parents or your siblings. But the situation was things had been going well and then there was what she felt was a betrayal, okay? So whatever that was, it doesn't really matter, but the point is she felt that someone that she had been having a good relationship with, they, they did something or they behaved in a way that was very upsetting to her and it felt like a betrayal to her, okay? This could happen with a coworker, this could happen with a parent, this could happen with your significant other, this could happen with one of your kids where they do something and it's just, it's just, it's inappropriate, whatever they do. It's not just that they hurt your feelings, it's that they lied or they, um, manipulated in some um, underhanded way. And so what she was spending a lot of time on, and this happened not just recently, a few weeks ago. So when I spoke with her on our last session, she was again going over and over again about how could he do this and how could he behave that way and after all they'd been through and how could this happen and all these things that were disappointments to her all these things that were not what she wanted to be. And it's important to vent and it's important to talk about the things that were upsetting to you and to me and to all of us, but we all know about the law of attraction and we all slip up sometimes, just like she did, I do, you do, we all do, we have to be reminded. And so what was interesting about that and what I reminded her about is the more you talk about the betrayal and the more you talk about the manipulation and the more you talk about how could this person treat you that way or behave that way or this horrible thing that they did or you know how could they not appreciate you you know kids to their parents for example parents often say my child doesn't appreciate me i do so much for them your significant other the more you talk about how someone doesn't appreciate you how they manipulated you how they lied to you, how they betrayed you. What you do is you create that energy in your life and that brings more relationships in and more of that kind of a relationship where you can't trust someone, you don't know where they're coming from, they don't appreciate you. Do you understand what I'm saying? Your boss doesn't appreciate you, they don't appreciate all the work that you do. And the more you talk about that, you keep yourself stuck and frozen in that vibrational frequency of bringing more of that to you. Because what you focus on, you get more of. What we all focus on, we get more of. So I talk to her, I call it turning on a dime. Basically, just kind of like turn your perspective and think about, I told her, think about what you had in that relationship that was really good. And don't just think about it, but feel what it felt like. Let's use a work situation. Feel what it felt like when your coworker or your employer or your boss or whoever it is said you were wonderful and did a great job and what that felt like. I told her, think about what it felt like when he was wonderful to you, when he treated you like a queen, when he was, you know, honest and you know, very forthcoming with his communication and you felt that everything was clear and the communication was great and your relationship was great. Be in that and feel those emotions. If you're a parent, feel what it feels like when your child or your kid does something special for you or tells you they love you, what that feels like. Or when your significant other, you know, says, gee, honey, I really appreciate what you just did. and That, that was great. Or they 
hold you and you just feel those wonderful feelings, whatever they are, whether they're, you know, words of affirmation or whether they're acts of service or whether they're physical touch or whether they're gifts or whether they're, they're uh, quality time with your significant other, any of those things that felt great and really feel how great they felt. And when you feel how great they felt and how great you felt in that moment and you just feel it with every fiber of your being, what you're doing is you're creating another vibrational frequency, another vibrational resonance that will bring more of that to you. Okay, so it might not happen with this uh, woman uh, person that I was doing the private session with. It might not happen with her in that relationship. But what it does is it creates another relationship. It creates someone else coming into her life that, that treats her that way. So instead of focusing on the bad parts of the relationship, which I think is gonna be now over for them, for that couple. But instead of, because the betrayal was pretty huge, but instead of thinking about all the ways that she was betrayed or disappointed or how could he do this, that, or the other thing, I said, think about all the wonderful things so that when you have that and you're creating that vibrational frequency, you are then pulling into you more of that vibrational frequency and it will come in the form of another person. It might come in the form of, you know, if it's a work situation, it might come in the form of another job. Uh, so if it's with your significant other, it might come in a way that they start treating you better or if you're, because you're in a relationship with them. If it comes from the relationship like it did with this woman that I was working with, it will probably come from another, another male admirer probably another man in her life. As long as she focuses on the good feelings, focus on the good feelings, because when you focus on the bad feelings, you get more of the bad, and it just keeps you stuck and frozen in that place where you're feeling bad all the time, or a lot of the time, and all you're attracting to yourself is feeling bad more. Does that make sense? If it makes sense, let me know, okay? Send me a private message, comment below something like that. This is especially appropriate because actually I think the moon is just about full or going to be full pretty soon. So emotions are intensified, okay? We're coming to the end of the year, so that's kind of intensified. There's not a lot of New Year's celebrations. We can't really go out. And uh, that's another thing. As you know, we are now with more cases than ever. Yesterday there were more cases of COVID than ever. And we have more stay-at-home orders. So not orders, but you know, stay at home requests. So for right now, namaste at home. Okay, I posted that on Facebook the other day. Namaste at home. Let's just stay home for now, okay? Another surge of staying home and that's why New Year's Eve is more challenging this year than before because we can't be with our friends and we can't be out celebrating. We can't be close with each other and hugging each other and kissing people Happy New Year and hugging our friends Happy New Year. We can't do it right now. So focus on the good feelings of whatever is happening in your life that has been bringing you down, okay? Focus on the good parts. Let's say you've been really, really sick, okay? I've been really, really sick, not lately, but you know, I'm an advanced stage cancer survivor. And instead of focusing all the scary parts about that, I can focus on what it felt like when my blood counts were up and I was able to get more chemo, for example, or what it felt like when my blood counts were up because of some herbal protocol that I had put on and was initiating in myself, or how good it felt to get a massage when I was feeling really tired and weak and thin and sick, how wonderful it felt. And that brings more positive feelings. So. You can extrapolate that to any situation. Just think, this is more than just put your head in the sand and think positive. This is feel the feelings of feeling good. Feel the feelings of feeling positive and from whatever the situation was. And that will allow more positive and more good situations that you will feel good in to come to you. Okay? All right. So let's pull some cards, shall we? All right, we're gonna go to my uh, my Rider White Duck right now, my purple pouch. My cats are communicating and saying what they need to say. They often do during these meditations. By the way, 
uh, for those of you who haven't been here before, the meditations are left up indefinitely. I used to do them live in person, of course, but the group asked me to continue, so I've done it this way. So we've been doing them live since. Uh, the last one in person was March 11th. All this year, since March 11th, have been online. And they're all on Facebook, on all my profiles, and they're also on YouTube channels, my YouTube channels. So you can find me there. You can listen as long as you want, as often as you want, as many times as you want, and your pajamas and your comfy COVID clothes while you're namasteing at home. And um, they're all up there. So you can go back and listen to other ones if you want to. You'll find that even if you listen to something that I recorded from a class two months ago, it'll still be relevant. That's just kind of the way it is. You'll see what I mean. And the same with the cards, okay? So the cards I'm gonna shuffle in front of you and I'm gonna tell you that we are surrounded by white light as I shuffle these cards. And only positive energy can come in to us and be around us, so there's nothing to fear, okay? Everything is totally okay. Someone was telling me yesterday, oh, I don't believe in that stuff. Because, you know, bad energy can come in. Well, no, it's not going to come in. Because I'm already saying it's just going to be white light. We're surrounded by white light and divine protection. And that's what it's going to be while we're doing this. And while you listen to this audio and watch this audio. Later on, you put your earbuds on and we'll go deep in a guided meditation. But I never know what I'm going to say. I never know where we're going to go. So the cards kind of guide me. And the, guard, the cards are... Um, energetic tools and they kind of morph you know they kind of change and what that means is you may see that something I'm saying today is appropriate for today you may listen a week later it'll still be appropriate it'll morph into the energy of what's going on in your life you'll see so if you listen again you know what I mean I've heard people tell me that oh yeah I know what you're talking about I've seen it happen so I know it's not just me I know it happens for other people Okay, I'm going to cut these cards. The cards are going to let us know where we're going to go in our guided meditation. I'm going to cut them one more time and take the card that's on. Oh, this one kind of popped out. Maybe I should take it now. I think I'll cut them one more time. Okay, here we go. And this card is, come on, let's see what we got here. Okay, this is a three of pentacles. All right, we're gonna talk about this in just a minute. I have to put my glasses on to see it though. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. Okay, this is the Three of Pentacles. <laughs> okay, Pentacles are uh, the suit in the Tarot deck. Uh, some people call it tarot, some people call it tarot. I call it tarot because tarot is what they used to pound and eat in Hawaii when I lived there. So for, for me, it, it's, it's tarot. So the pentacles in the tarot are about money and they're about of the earth, okay? It's like the earth trip, all right? So here we have three people. It's a three of pentacles. And we've got the three pentacles up there, see them? And this guy... He's kind of a worker guy. See, he's got an orange apron on. He's got like a purple tunic and an orange apron. He's standing on a bench. And he's like uh, following directions. You see this couple? She, there's a, a, it looks like there's a woman there in this um, yellow and red thing with red boots on, this hooded thing. And she's got instructions. And then there's like a friar or a priest or somebody like that standing next to her. He's got the uh, thing on his head and the robe and what they're seeming to be building is talking to this workman about how to create this church arch it feels like a church arch because there's this religious guy right there uh all right now here's what's interesting about this those of you who know me you know that i often talk about the church or the temple being the physical body, okay? The female is giving instructions while the higher self, the hierophant right there, which is like a pope or a priest, 
the high row font is looking on. So the feminine part of this person, this is all one person, by the way. Okay, so the feminine part aspect of this person has the instructions, okay? And the high row font, the higher part of the person is looking on as the person who's the workman, the salt of the earth person, is doing the work, okay? So what this is about is letting your intuition, I'm gonna leave this here so I can incorporate this in our guide, our guided imagery. The feminine part of all of us is our intuitive part, that is the receiving part. Feminine is receiving, okay? So this is the receiving part of us. Along with the high row font, the higher part of us, giving direction to the salt of the earth part of us, the workman part of us, to do the work on the earth plane to fine tune our vehicle or our temple. Isn't that cool? So this is about, okay, it's the end of the year. New Year's resolution time. All right, that's usually about health, taking care of our bodies, eating less, eating healthier, working out more, whatever it is. That's what this card's about. The three parts of ourselves working on the earth plane to refine ourselves in an artistic way, okay? Like this craftsman right here. So there's that. I've got my incense going, <clears throat> excuse me. I put it over there because it's, uh, it's very dense smelling. Uh, this is the Primo Extra Special Incense that I've told you about. I still have some of it left. This is the Extra Special Sandalwood. Primo Incense came out, I'm gonna jump around here. Primo Incense came out in the mid to late 70s and I've been using it since then, since I was a lot younger. And uh, I've been meditating a long time and I used it for yoga and meditation back then and then lost track of it for a while and then found out that it got repackaged. And now it is available you can buy it on the internet, actually, but the extra special sandalwood will not be available. It's going to be sold out. So I bought a lot of it, and when it's gone, they're not gonna get any more. And so I bought a lot of it, and I still have some of it left. So if you want it, you can either pick it up at my office, I have a no-contact pickup, or I can mail it to you. It's $8.25, including tax. If you want me to ship it to you, it's more. But you're gonna love it. It's got it's really pure incense. It's extra special, and the name of the incense company is called Primo, Primo Connoisseur Incense. It's amazing, and I've got it going right now. It's just divine, I love it. Okay, so we're gonna choose now from this one, which was on top. This is uh, Healing with the Angels Oracle Cards. I pulled a couple of decks out. I don't, didn't know which one I was gonna pull, but I'm gonna choose something from this one, and let's see what it says. Again, I'm shuffling this in front of you. These are angel messenger cards. This is an older deck. It's about 20 some years old. It's been around for a while, but I like it because it's simple and it's, um, you know, it's just kind of like one key word with a little bit of a story that I'll read out of a little book. So angels give us some guidance about where we're supposed to go in our guided meditation or extrapolate also on top of the three of pentacle cards that we already pulled. Let's see what we got going on here. Let's cut this and here we go. This one is, I can't read it backwards. Soulmate, whoa. Okay, so I'm gonna read you about soulmate. Interesting. If you don't have one, Maybe one's coming in, who knows? Look at this picture, is this adorable? Look at these two with their little wings kissing each other, it's so precious. Soulmate, love it. Okay, I'm gonna read you about Soulmate from this deck. And let's see what it says. Your prayer for a soulmate relationship is answered. Follow the guidance that you receive so that you may enjoy this gift of divine love. Your heart yearns for a big love. Since you're on the spiritual path, you desire a partner with similar philosophical and common interests. Can you have great passion and spiritual companionship with the same person? This card confirms that your answer is yes. 
By drawing this card, your angels ask you to trust in and follow their lead. Your angels have heard your prayers for a great love and they guide you to take steps to manifest this desire. If you're in a current relationship, your angels ask you to release this partnership to them. So if you're in a relationship, they're saying release the partnership to them. And that way they can help elevate the relationship to a higher level, to a soulmate level, or help you to gently end it so that your new love may appear. I was just talking to someone earlier in a session and she was concerned, is this, sometimes I do a lot of relationship therapy, sometimes I do a lot of uh, functional medicine, it just depends on who I'm working with that day. But today, earlier I was working with another woman who was very concerned if she should stay in a relationship with someone that she loves and he loves her, but she says it can't ever be a long-term relationship because there are some big things that she just can't settle for. So this is to you, you know who you are because you'll be watching this, but this is piggybacking on what you and I talked about in your session today. So in that way, the angels can help elevate your relationship to a soulmate level or help you to gently end it so that your new love may appear. Remember how I was talking before about the other situation with the other person I was working with privately, which is focus on the good parts. So for that situation too, the most recent one today, by having her focus on the good parts of the relationship, not focus on the parts that she doesn't want and can't deal with and won't admit that she wants to be in a relationship with long-term because of those qualities of that guy, but to focus on the good parts of that relationship that she has with him and if it's not gonna be elevated, then it will be released in a loving way so that she can have a higher elevation relationship with someone. See how that works? Does that make sense to you? Either way, they will closely assist you and give you clear steps to take. Well, that sounds pretty darn cool, <clears throat> but I wanna know more. I wanna know more. So we're gonna to go to another deck. We need more. Also, you can't be in a good relationship if you're not in a good relationship with yourself. That's your primary relationship, guys. You know that, right? My cat says yes. My, oh, oh, my selenite heart just fell on the ground. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna go to this deck right now and see what's in store for us here. I mean, it's the last one of the year. We might as well just do three cards, right? Especially since we got the three of pentacles. So we're going to draw from three different decks. Okay. So give us guidance with this. Give us more information. We've got a lot of information here. By the way, when you work on your physical body and clean up your physical body as your vehicle, like the church, remember this card right here? Okay. Use your guidance to fine tune your vehicle where your spirit lives, right? Um, and in doing that, you are more in tune with yourself so that you can attract a healthy, high vibrational relationship that is loving and respectful and kind and considerate and on a high vibration. And let's see what let's see what's in here. See how this all ties together with our third card. Okay, angels, I'm cutting the deck now. I'll cut it three times. Once, twice, and the third cut. And here we go. Let's see what this message is. <gasps> oh my God, wedding. Okay, now this does not mean you're getting married. It could though, depends on how you wanna look at it. On the physical level, it might be a wedding, but how about the wedding of your lower and higher selves? How about the wedding of these three elements? The one that uh, does the work on the physical plane, the one that gives directions, the one that receives directions, and the, the higher self that looks on. Let's see what wedding says. Oh, I love this. Wedding. We have a beautiful woman here with purple uh, wings and an arch. Okay, so here's what she's saying. Here's what's, 
here's what's in here. I'll lay these cards out here. Marriage is the union of two souls joined in love, mutual respect, and commitment. Gosh, I, I you know, I'm a, I'm a wedding officiant also. I'm a non-denominational minister. I think I've actually used that line when I've officiate, officiated at a ceremony. Marriage is the union of two souls joined in love, mutual respect, and commitment. It signifies a desire to deepen love over time. Your wedding day is a testament to your well-founded faith and love's power. Continually breathe life into that faith and love, dearest one. You receive this card because the topic of marriage is related to your question. The, this is either a wedding in your near future or the angels are suggesting a renewal of vows to keep romance alive in your present marriage. This card is surrounded with love and positive energy, so there's no need to worry about its message. Be open to love, romance, and possibilities and enjoy your wedding day. Now, you don't have to be getting married for this to make sense, okay? The wedding of all the parts of yourself. Think about that. You know how sometimes people aren't authentic? They say one thing and then they do something else. They say they're going to do something, but they don't. Or they say they're going to, they say a certain thing, but then their behavior is different. Like they say, I love you, but then their behavior is that they don't. So wedding doesn't necessarily mean a man and a woman getting together and getting married or a woman and woman or a man and a man with a wedding ceremony. It can also mean the wedding of all the parts of ourselves so that we're authentic and real, so that we are congruent. What we say is what we do. What we say and how we think is who we are. We're not, we don't have false selves. You know what I mean? You don't have a false self. You're like real, real, you're authentic. Okay, additional meanings for this card. You'll receive a romantic or business proposal soon. Okay. You're expecting, you're experiencing a mystical marriage between your, aha, uh -huh, your inner male and female energies, just like I said. You're experiencing a mystical marriage between your inner male and female energies, which means that you're not predominantly yanged out. You're not predominantly yinned out. Yin is female, yang is masculine. Masculine out there, yin is internal, like be yin, go within, you know, especially during a full moon. Be in, go within. We're going to do that. Actually, we're going to be very yin in our guided meditation in a few moments. You're experiencing a mystical marriage between your inner male and female energies. You'll meet someone significant at a wedding you attend as a guest. Well, I don't think anybody's going to weddings these days. As a matter of fact, a lot of people I know have postponed their weddings. <laughs> They were supposed to get married and they postponed their weddings because of COVID. Discuss the topic of marriage with your boyfriend or girlfriend. You'll soon meet your future marital partner. One of your friends or family members will marry soon. So those are all the meanings of that. For the sake of this, because we focus on the inner, the yin here in our guided meditation, we're gonna think about this being the marriage of the male and the female parts of ourselves, okay? But think about it. You might be meeting somebody. You might get a proposal. Someone might come into your life. Someone meaningful. That may be a meaningful relationship. Or someone may come back into your life. So just keep that in mind too, okay? But we're going to today, going to focus on the marriage. We're going to use take it to a higher level. We're, instead of the surface appearance, we're going to take it deeper. I like deep. I like to go deep. So we're going to be going deep. All right. I think that's it for the cards. We pulled three cards and now we're going to do our guided meditation. So make yourselves comfortable. And when we did this live, everyone laid down and some people brought sleep masks. So take a few moments to make yourself comfortable. All right, comfort is key. You don't have to be sitting up, lay down, be relaxed. Doesn't matter if you fall asleep, you just think you're falling asleep. What's happening is you're going into yoga nidra, which is a very receptive state for positive suggestion. Okay? So take a few minutes to get organized and get yourself situated in that way. And I will do the same.
know seven days a week doesn't work for you when you're trying to lose weight? You guys just ignore that. <laughs> it's on my iPad, it was an ad. So just ignore that, okay? <laughs> I had it set up because I turned the iPad off for a few minutes. It reset back to the beginning, so I couldn't just go back to where I was. All right. Getting situated now and getting ready to go. Beginning now to notice a breath and noticing your breath. You see that it's beginning to change subtly, slowly, and gently. In through the nose and blow out through the mouth. Letting go of all the cares, concerns, and worries all the fears, frustrations, and anxieties, exhaling away with each and every breath without you even needing to figure out what they are. Trust and know that your mind, your spirit, knows exactly what needs to be released. That's it. Just relaxing more deeply now. Any outside sounds you become aware of that you recognize as everyday normal sounds. Those sounds only allow you to go deeper, deeper into your own space, your own inner space of creativity, intuition, and connection to your higher being. It's all there. It's always been there. It's all inside. We're going to go there now. Tap into it. Tap into it for your greater good, your greatest health happiness, peace of mind, and comfort. The body begins to relax now, starting at the top of the head. The scalp relaxes. The face relaxes. Feel your jaw letting go. Allow your upper and lower teeth to part a bit so they aren't touching. Your tongue resting comfortably. Moving from five down to four now as the back of the neck lets go. Feel free to move it if you feel that you need to or want to. That just allows any tension that may be stored in your neck to be released. If any part of your body feels like it needs to be adjusted or moved, it's fine to do that. That is just your body releasing any accumulation of tension or undesirable emotions of today's experiences.
as the neck continues to let go with each and every breath. And with each and every breath, <clears throat> you feel yourself relaxing even more deeply. With each sound of my voice, you feel yourself letting go even more. There's a part of your being that has craved this opportunity to decompress. There's a part of your being that has created this opportunity to set aside time for you to recalibrate and realign. I honor you and congratulate you on doing that, of giving yourself the gift of the opportunity to do this for yourself. Feeling your shoulders letting go now as we move down on the count of three. Feel the shoulders relaxing all the way down, all the way down, down to the elbows, the forearms, the wrists, hands, and fingers. See if you can feel the tingling sensation coming out of the tips of your fingers. That's the relaxation. I know many of you can feel it. Moving down to three now, as the entire torso begins to relax. That's it. The lungs, healthy, strong, the heart, healthy, strong. The liver, gallbladder, bile ducts. The spleen, the pancreas. The stomach. Everything normalizing. Everything balancing. Everything working just the way it's supposed to, with your immune system strong, knowing just what it needs to do to protect you. Down now through the diaphragm, down into the lower torso, down through the digestive system. The entire digestive system working well working just the way it's supposed to. Your gut healthy, your elimination healthy. And moving down to two, down through the thighs, down through the knees, down through the calves. That's it. Moving down to one now, down through the ankles and the feet. All of the muscles, bones, ligaments, fibers, tendons in the feet, letting go. Relaxing and letting go. The entire body now feeling more and more comfortable. More and more relaxed. Any thoughts you might be having, you know, just allow them to float on by. Float on by. Any thoughts you may be having allow you to go even deeper and deeper into your own experience. That's it. Deeper and deeper. Letting go more and more. In a moment, you'll hear 
hear some tones. Allow the tones to take you even deeper. If you feel that you are drifting deeper and not able to focus on my words, that's totally fine. Because a part of your mind is hearing everything I'm saying. So if you feel like you want to just drift and rest, go ahead and do that. You'll be going into a state of yoga nidra, which is a very deep, respective, perspective, state of being where you can take in any positive information that will enhance your life on all levels. Anything that resonates with you from that higher part of you, it will go in to that very fertile part of your brain and your mind and begin to sprout and manifest in your life. immediately or in the very near future. Only that with aligns with you, only that which aligns with your belief systems will be allowed in. Only positive information, which is all that will be talked about, all that will be mentioned is positive during this guided meditation. using these tones to take yourself even deeper and focus even more and let go even more. Drifting now from the count of one down to zero. And letting go even more. And letting go even more. That's it. Going deeper. And allowing yourself to go deeper still. This is the end of a chapter, but it's the beginning of a new chapter in the book of your life. In this new chapter, you are allowing yourself and giving yourself permission to be stronger, more powerful, more intuitive and more full of light than ever before in your lifetime. There have been situations and times where you may not have spoken up for yourself where you have pushed aside your desires and your dreams. You are getting ready to burst out now. Burst out of that smaller contained space, allowing your spirit to expand. Expanding more than ever before.
expanding in a positive way, beneficial for you and all of those around you, beneficial for humanity, beneficial for the planet. Because you are marrying all the parts of yourself. And you are committing to allow all the parts of yourself to be involved in the manifestation of your desires. Your yang masculine part that is out there in the world wedding and marrying your yin female part that is your inner part your quiet time your meditation time your yoga time your parasympathetic time where your autonomic nervous system is allowed to relax restore and regenerate. That can only happen where you are in a yin receptive, quiet state of being when you are alone. Using this alone time that we have been experiencing and will continue to experience for a short time using this alone time to reconnect with yourself on deeper levels of being. And at the same time, making a commitment to yourself to fine tune your physical body. Using the inner guidance of your feminine self, regardless of your sex or gender and using the experience and the wisdom of your craftsman, salt of the earth self. At the same time, allowing your higher self to look on as you fine tune the temple that houses your soul. This is a time of mating with yourself, making a commitment to yourself in a new way, in a way that's never been done before. This is a special time right now on the planet where we are all needing to do that. That's part of why this home shut in Namaste at home time has occurred because energetically we've been too out there. We need to go within more often. That's right. So seeing this as a time of refining. A diamond is simply a piece of coal that has begun to shine and reflect light through the pressure put on it. So all those pressures that you've been feeling, that we've all been feeling, allow us to receive and reflect more light as we turn into who we're supposed to be. And drifting deeper.
allowing yourself to drift and float as your mind makes any adjustments that it needs to. Releasing negative thought patterns, habits, and behaviors that have not served you well to create more space for positive thought patterns, behaviors, and habits that will be coming into you effective immediately or in the near future per the guidance from your higher self and your intuitive receptive self that will allow your earthly self to begin to make adjustments. As you make the adjustments and continue to work on the temple of your physical vehicle, more and more spirit, more and more light will come in. It's already coming. I know you felt it. And drifting deeper.
If you are listening to this before bed, you will sleep deeply, beautifully, and release anything interfering with your greatest happiness, health, peace of mind, and success. You will wake up refreshed, renewed, optimistic, happy, and grateful. If you are listening to this in the morning, you will have a beautiful day full of wonderful adventures, insights, experiences, and connections. A day full of gratitude and appreciation. If you are listening to this at the end of the workday before your evening, you will decompress, release, regenerate, renew, recalibrate and reset your nervous system so that you'll be ready for the evening. Thank you for being with me. Thank you for allowing me to be with you during this time. It is a great blessing to me. And I appreciate very much each and every one of you. Sending you many blessings and best wishes for the new year. Namaste.